In tonight's Fact or Fiction, we're looking into a video that has conspiracy fans excited. The video shows a shiny object just to the left of the sun that some people say is evidence of the planet Nerebu. And yes, Nerebu is allegedly a hidden planet in our solar system. You think you know all the planets, but what if I told you there might be a hidden planet no one seems to know about? Scientists declared the discovery of the last known major planet, Neptune, in 1846, and since then have been on the lookout to discover any planets they might have missed. In the past, there have been a number of false finds, like Phaeton, a planet which was rumored to be situated between Mars and Jupiter, and even Vulcan, a planet closer to the Sun than Mercury. But those have been long since proven to be non-existent and purely based on illusions. So where did the idea of the hidden planet come from? About 2400 years ago, the Greek philosopher Philolaus came up with the theory of another planet, much like Earth, but termed the Counter-Earth. He called this Counter-Earth Antikthen and described it as having an orbit that kept it permanently behind the Sun. Antikthen, also known as the Counter-Earth, has been the subject of speculation and many ancient and scientific myths for ages. As time went on, scientific understanding evolved, and the idea of antique then shifted from mythology to early astronomical theories. Noteworthy astronomers like Kepler and Copernicus explored the possibility of a hidden planet in our solar system, proposing that it could explain certain gravitational anomalies. Is there really a planet behind the sun that has not been found? Is that planet orbiting really in the same orbit as the Earth? What will that mean for Earth and the rest of the solar system in the long run? In the universe that Philolaus built his theory around, the Earth was said to be moved from the center of the cosmos, which made it seem that the apparent motion of the heavenly bodies was largely due to the motion of the observer, in this case, was anyone on Earth. But at this time, the knowledge was that the Earth along with the other planets, the Sun and the Moon, revolved around an unseen central fire. It was this same fire that the Earth and the theoretical counter-Earth orbited around. In his universe, the Earth and Counter-Earth revolve around the unseen central fire in one day, while the Moon's revolution occurred monthly and the Sun's occurred yearly. If that truly was the case, how then did Philolaus explain the concept of day and night? According to him, the Earth had a speedy revolution around the Sun's slower revolution around the central fire. This entire theory was fueled by Philolaus' belief that the cosmos operated according to the principles of harmony and balance. Therefore, if there was an Earth, then surely there would be a counter-Earth that existed opposite from the original, regardless of whether we could see it or not. Since scientists could not see what was behind the Sun, or the central unseen fire, this idea was widely accepted as plausible and there were a lot of speculations about the planet that could possibly be in hiding. Philolaus started a discussion that spanned many years with many spin-offs and the introduction of other theories to support or discredit it. There's no limit to the human mind when it wants to bring an imagination to reality. The question remains, is it possible there is a planet we cannot see orbiting behind the sun? There were many reasons that if this hypothetical Earth lookalike existed, it could be viewed or felt from Earth with all the new technology. First of all, the existence of satellites with which researchers and astronomers have used to analyze the activities of the planets in space would have captured the presence of the extra planet. There are spacecraft that have been sent into space to view the sun from all angles, so if there was indeed a planet hiding, I bet it would have been fished out. So far, researchers have detected no such presence, and indeed spacecraft sent to Venus, Mars, and other places could not have successfully flown by or landed on the counter-Earth because that was not their target, and the crafts are usually equipped and programmed for a particular destination. Regardless, anything larger than 100 miles or 160 kilometers in diameter should have been detected. But what if the planet was just missed completely, and in fact exists somewhere in the orbit? If a counter-Earth existed, then its gravitational effect would have been felt by the Earth or other planets around it. All planets haven't a gravitational effect on all the objects, celestial bodies, and man-made devices and equipment. This effect is called perturbation. So if there was a hidden body, the pull or distortion effect it would have on other bodies would be a dead giveaway. And with our satellites, we would have been able to capture the data from interaction. 
For instance, Mars and Venus, being close neighbors to Earth, might experience slight perturbations in their orbits due to the gravitational influence of Antiochthon. While these effects could be subtle, they may contribute to the dynamic dance of planets within our solar system. Now, let's think about how Antiochthon could affect Earth. If this hidden planet is real, its gravitational pull might change things like how much Earth tilts and moves around the Sun. This could cause long-term changes in our climate or make small adjustments to how Earth spins. For counter-Earth orbiting the same path as Earth, it needs to always stay 180 degrees from Earth for there to be a balance, and the two planets would have to have circular orbits, but Earth's orbit is elliptical. If the counter-Earth suddenly appeared, the other planets would definitely unsettle its orbit around the Sun with their pull effect, and before you know it, the two Earth types, both the Earth and the counter-Earth, would catch up to each other. This could cause an encounter unlike anything the world has ever experienced. According to Kepler's second law, a planet revolves faster when it is close to the star, so a counter-Earth following the Earth on the same orbit with half a year of delay would sometimes not be exactly 180 degrees from Earth and there would be instability. Such a solar system could not exist. The gravitational effect makes it so that even if you cannot see a planet, you can prove its existence. For instance, Neptune was discovered only because scientists were able to observe the gravitational effects it had on Uranus. Rather than discuss whether or not there exists a hidden planet behind the Sun, we ought to consider whether it is scientifically possible for that to happen. According to Aristotle, another philosopher who studied and criticized the work of the Pythagoreans, the idea of the counter-Earth was brought about to explain the eclipses of the Moon and their frequency, which could not be explained by Earth alone blocking the light of the Sun if Earth did not revolve around the Sun. Aristotle also suggested that it could have been introduced to raise the number of heavenly bodies around the central fire from 9 to 10, which the Pythagoreans regarded as the perfect number. The idea of a counter-Earth waned after the heliocentric model of the solar system became widely accepted from the 16th century. But if you consider that apart from the Earth and the hypothetical planet, counter-Earth, there are other planets and moons, all of which have the same effect on the Sun. So the Sun's common center of gravity around its orbits is decided by the collective force exerted by all of these planets and the objects between. So a counter-Earth would affect the motions of all nearby planets allowing us to detect it, but in reverse, the objects would also affect the counter-Earth. If Venus approached the Earth by 40 million miles every 500 days, then subsequently, Venus would also approach the counter-Earth closely. After a few orbits, the influence on the counter-Earth would shift it and bring it into view and visible from the Earth. When you consider that Mercury, Mars, and even Jupiter would be exacting their own influence on the boy, you can only imagine what the results would be like. Still, there are points in the solar system where the gravitational pulls of any two planetary bodies, in conjunction with the rotation around their orbits, creates an equilibrium. These points are called Lagrange points and they produce regions of enhanced repulsion and attraction. One of such points is located behind the Sun, and the same place where this hypothetical Earth is said to be located. These points are gravitationally stable. What that means is that objects and spacecrafts alike can use it as sort of a parking spot to remain in the same position for an extended period of time with minimal fuel and energy consumption. But these points are only metastable and a significant disturbance would eventually cause objects positioned there to move. All the concepts we have covered only point to the fact that it is impossible for a planet to exist and remain hidden behind the sun. The mysteries of our cosmos continue to inspire curiosity and drive scientific inquiry. What are your thoughts on the potential influence of Antique then? Should it exist in a hypothetical world on our solar system? Share your thoughts in the comments below, leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video, and please share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us, and see you next video.